Hello there, it's Jules, back on YouTube after several months of inactivity. Uh, you might be wondering where I've been for the last few months, why I haven't been posting. It's because I'm going to be a dad soon, like in two months. So uh, I've been really busy just getting ready, a lot of less time to make videos and open boxes of toys or even buy toys anymore. But um, yes, uh, Tian is pregnant and we're going to be having our firstborn in uh, May which is very exciting and very scary at the same time. And it also means that my normal toy room with my two big old uh, bookcases behind me of figures and figurines and stuff is going to have to get out of here because this is becoming the baby's room. But it's okay, we're just going to be moving them into the living room. But I thought before I make the big move, I would share with you my collection. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. So. Let's go take a look at my figures. So this is the top shelf of the left bookcase and it's for Marvel characters or the B Shoujo characters from Marvel. We have Squirrel Girl, we have Kamala Khan, we have Spider Gwen, we have Deadpool Lady! That's actually my very first Bishoujo statue I got like uh, three or four years, I think four years ago. Then we have She-Hulk, we've got Jubilee, then there is Domino, there's Spider-Woman, and these aren't Bishoujo characters but they're also female Marvel characters. We've got Gwenpool here, and we've got Psylocke, my favorite mutant here. Yes, those are probably more recent editions. I never did unboxings of those, uh, but I did of Domino. You can check it out on the channel. Anyway, let's move on. So on the right bookshelf, top shelf, we have the DC Ladies shelf. So we've got Power Girl, we've got Harley Quinn, we've got Wonder Woman, the Gal Gadot version, Gal Gadot. Then we have, I don't know why Starfire is facing backwards, but uh, let's move her in the right position. That was that was very strange. Anyway, this was the, uh, I think this is the second run version of Starfire Bishoujo. Then we have Raven, then there's Supergirl. I quite like the detail on this one. Then there is Catwoman here. We've got a video on that on my channel if you want to check that out. And then we have a couple of Q-Pos kits here as well. We've got Wonder Woman and Harley Quinn. Uh, I put them here because you know, their counterparts are like right behind them and I thought that would be a nice look. And oh, here it's like the accessories for the big Wonder Woman statue. So you've got like a different shield. I think there's another sword in here. I'm not sure I can't see. Oh, there, here's the other sword. So right now she's holding like the, uh, the main sword, but here's like her original like non-magical sword. I forgot the name of these things. Please dislike this video if you can. Okay, let's move on. All right, so this shelf is my shelf of q -poskets. I love Disney movies. I love Disney princesses, as you can tell. And uh, what started out as like, I can't remember which was the first one. I think the first one I ever got was uh, the Rapunzel in the back there, because Rapunzel is my favorite of all the Disney princesses. Um, but yes, it started with her and it just kind of grew and grew and grew and now I have like a huge collection of Disney princesses. I think I have them all. I'm not sure who is missing. I might not, oh, I've got a Snow White there. Anyway, we also have like a regular uh, Rapunzel in the back there and a regular Belle. Belle comes in second in terms of my personal ranking of Disney princesses. So let's move on now. So this shelf here, this is right under the DC Ladies shelf. Um, it was going to be for the EK men and like Disney men and just men in general statues. I don't actually have a lot of male statues, unfortunately, because I don't know, I don't, don't really find many that I like. Um, some of them just like look too aggressive and I sort of like softer looking statues. So we've got the Red Hood there, we've got Nightwing, 
we've got Batman, we've got Damien Robin here, Damien Robin's here, and then we also have, was it Tim Drake Robin? <laughs> Damn it, Red Robin, that's what his name is, yes. But uh, I didn't have enough to actually fill it out, so I put some other stuff here as well. So we've got a robot from the movie Castle in the Sky here. We've got Bender. Oh, and uh, oh, I think this is a talking Bender. I hope he still works. I'm just gonna do my own theme park. Ah, uh, yes. And and In fact, forget the park. Yeah. Okay, I'm. I'm trying to get him to say bite my shiny metal ass, but he's not going to. Anyway, uh, then we have Creepy Woody here. Uh, I did a video on him, but I never posted it because it was a terrible video. But uh, yeah, Pervy Woody. Then we also have Heaton in some bot, the kid robot version. I've had that for so long. <laughs> then we have this Rocket and Groot statue here. I really love this one. I love when, you know, we have artist variants of things like of their own interpretation of certain characters and stuff. And there's Damien Robin. Then we have another Woody. I <laughs> I don't know. There was a time when I when I was uh, browsing like pre-order sections, whenever I saw anything Toy Story, I just got them all. Anyway, continuing on, we've got Nick Wilde from Zootopia. I tried to get a Judy Hops as well, but it was all sold out. Then we have Suicide Squad Harley Quinn and Suicide Squad Joker. Look, I don't mind the Suicide Squad movies. Um, the character design I think is really cool, and which is probably the reason why I got these two. Also, I was also still high on a big Q Posket thing back at the time when they were when they were released. Anyway, let's move on. So this is my Horror B Shoujo statue shelf. Um, for some reason, there is a box with Gambit on it here. I'm just gonna take that down for now. Anyway, so yeah, I've pretty much done a video on everything on this shelf. Uh, you can check it out on my channel as always. We've got Edward Scissorhands here. We've got Freddy. We've got The Bride from Kill Bill. We've got Sexy Ash. Uh, we've got uh, Bride of Chucky. We've got Michael Myers, Chucky, and Jason. Let's just rearrange this a bit. I'm not quite happy with how it looks at the moment, but yes, that is my Horror Bishoujo shelf. Yeah, these are some of my favorites. Anyway, let's move on. So this shelf is for assorted cute things and little blind box figurines. So as you can see, I have plenty of Dan bows over here. We've got an uh, original one up the back, we've got an orange one, we've got one with some sort of crate for a head, and we've got a sumo one as well. And also a Yotsuba character in the corner as well. Let's move on. We've got a few things that we got from... Uh, capsules in Japan here, like a little cat sushi set. We've got like little mouse mochis, an open sign. Uh, this is like from a blind box real Akuma thing. Oh, and over there it's like a spirited away diorama thing that my wife did. Here we've got a couple of Tokidoki sushi things, a real Akuma car, we've got baby Milo, a couple of Doraemons, we've got Porco Rosso, Ooh, some Gurren Lagann figures. I, oh man, I forgot I even had them. Anyway, a Bananya. We've got that here from like Zing. Uh, and just an assortment of capsule toys here, dogs and cats. Oh, then a couple of Pompoko figures we got from the Ghibli store in Japan. Some more things we got from Japan, I think, or it might have been... No, I think that was Beijing. Those two cats right here. Uh, and oh, there's a place in China or Shanghai, I'm not sure if it's China wide, but it's a place called Pop Mart where you can get all these like vinyl figure blind boxes of all these characters. I don't think they're Japanese, I think they're like like local Chinese artists, but they're really, really cute and stuff. And I might be completely wrong if that's they're not actually from China, but we bought a lot of them. Those are like cloud people. Uh, there's a hamster there, Chewy Hams. Oh, there's Professor Utonium. Uh, there's a character from Cacao Friends, the Cacao Talk version of Lion Friends. Uh, that's not there, a Cacao Friend, another Rilakkuma thing. There's some th sort of Thor Tokidoki thing in the back. Yeah. So, yes, that is the miscellaneous shelf right there for you.
Okay, so I believe this shelf is meant for video game characters. As you can see, I have plenty of fighting game Bishoujo characters right here. Uh, there, I actually have a lot more that I want to put up, but they have just not been unboxed yet. So we've got Ibuki from the Street Fighter series. We've got Chun-Li, also from Street Fighter. We've got Mika from the Street Fighter series. We've got Lucky Chloe from Tekken. We've got Kami from the Street Fighter series and Jun Kazama from Tekken. But also at the front we have Overwatch character Tracer and then Persona 5 Panther. Jesus Christ, my name, uh, <laughs> my mind is drawing such a blank at the moment for everything. We've got Joker and we've got the cat character. Morgana, Mona, whatever her name is, his name is. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, who knows. But yes, that is the video game characters shelf. It's kind of bare, but you know, I've got so many things that I want to put on it because I have them and it's the video game shelf, but I just haven't unboxed them and opened them. Maybe sometime in the future, I don't know. It's so hard to keep up. Anyway, continuing. So this shelf is sort of miscellaneous, but I think it was also meant to be like anime and cartoon characters. So up the back here we have, I can't remember that character's name. Uh, she's from Seikano, uh, How to Raise a Boring Girlfriend in a Bikini. Yes, I, it's, it's weird. It's like, it's not a pervy thing, but like the way it's made, it's just, I, I, I appreciate the art of it. Um, I don't know really how to describe this to someone who doesn't sort of think on that wavelength and just thinks it's all about being a weird puff. <laughs> but anyway, uh, continuing on at the back, I'm just gonna move Twilight Sparkle for a second. We have a couple of characters from Cinderella Girls, Idolmaster. Um, again, just like the Seikano one, I really like the sort of pose. I like the construction of the figure. Uh, it's, just, it's just really pleasant to look at. Uh, the colors, the sort of softness of the colors as well, the, just the sculpt is really nice. Continuing on, another Idol Master character, and in the back we have female Luffy with big boobs. Yeah, not much else to say about that. I don't know why I got that one. Um, I do like the figure. It, I, I do like things when they're gender bent, I find it quite interesting. Uh, but I think this is one that I didn't necessarily need, but I had more money and then sense at the time. Continuing to the front, we have Cindy from Final Fantasy XV. I did a video on it, but I never posted it because this was like early on when I was still learning how to do videos. It's an okay figure. Uh, it's a play. It's the play arts version of it. They very hit and miss. I found. Anyway, uh, continuing on, we have. A Dragon Ball character whose name I can't remember. It's the one that sneezes and changes. Freaking hell, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Please dislike my video. Uh, then we have Ryoku from Kill La Kill. I had a Ryoku uh, Figma, but while trying to pose her, it snapped in half and I could never glue it back together and it was so frustrating. I've got it sitting in like a little Ziploc bag somewhere. I'm not sure what to do with it, but at least I have, ooh, at least I have this figure, which is really cool. It's a very dynamic pose. Oh, it's a little dusty. Yeah, it's just really cool. I, Kill or Kill, if you haven't seen it, you should watch it. It's, it's so cool. Like, it's just crazy action. The animation is insane. Anyway, moving on, we've got Twilight Sparkle, of which I have done a video. Please check that out. And we also have Pinkie Pie, which also has a video on my channel. These two are probably top five at least, maybe even top two Bishoujo statues. They're just so colorful, they're just so pleasant. Um, I really, I think Pinkie Pie is probably my favorite. Uh, most people would go for Twilight Sparkle, but I just love the, the shade of pink and the ruffles on the dress, the contrast with the blue, it's all really nice. And finally, another Q-Posket, Ranma. I used to love Ranma when I was younger. Um, I watched the whole series, twice over at least. I had the OVAs, I bought as many of the DVDs as I could. Um, I never got to read the manga because I don't know. Manga was hard to come by back in those days. I'm gonna stop talking and move on to the next thing.
So the shelves in between the two big ones is where I put all the Nandoroid figures that I've collected. So let's take a quick look at them. We've got Thor and Loki. There's a video on that. Probably my worst video. Then there's Rey from Star Wars The Bad Trilogy. Then we have Buzz and Woody. Then Suicide Squad, Joker and Harley. Like I said before, Suicide Squad movie is just okay, but I do actually like the design of the characters themselves. Then we have Belle and Rapunzel. Uh, you can find the videos for them on my channel as well, of the unboxing. Uh, those were a couple of my earlier ones. Uh, then we have Monsters Inc. Nendoroids. This was surprising. This just kind of popped up in my pre-order thing one day and I was like, yes, I must have them. These are the deluxe figures. I think, I can't remember what they came with. Probably just another faceplate or something. Anyway, let's move down. We've got Ariel and Elsa. I really wish I had Anna. I do not have Anna. And we have One Punch Man and Genos. Uh, I feel like I could probably put One Punch Man in a more dynamic pose. He has a few accessories with him. Uh, I should look those up. So here we have the start of my Overwatch Nendoroids. We have D.Va and we have Mercy. D.Va is my favorite Overwatch character. Then we have Link and one of those Guardian enemies. I think Link is the deluxe one. I don't remember if the regular one had the horse with it. I assume the horse was the deluxe piece. Anyway, continuing on, we've got May and Tracer from Overwatch. Then we have Nathan Drake and Deku from My Hero Academia. I have so many My Hero Academia uh, Nendoroids that I haven't opened yet. I really should open them. Then we have oof, Genji and Hanzo from Overwatch. Then, ooh, what's it? Eins Al Gaon or Momonga, and Albedo from Overlord. This was also a very cool anime that you should check out if you haven't yet. It's one of those ones where someone gets trapped in another fantasy realm from the real world, but it's just like he's an overpowered MMO character and he just pretty much crushes everyone. <laughs> then down here, more Overwatch characters. We have Junkrat and Sombre. I've never played Sombre or Junkrat in Overwatch ever. <laughs> And then we have characters from Umaru-chan. We've got Ebina and we've got Umaru herself. Yeah. And here we have like mini Umaru characters, more of them. I wish they made the one of Sylphin Ford. She is like the best character in any anime ever. Seriously. Anyway, continuing on. Persona 5. I have so many Persona 5 characters that have not been unboxed yet. We'll see later. Anyway, we've got Joker, we've got Mona, and we've got Futaba. I almost forgot her name, but then I saw... <laughs> I have the Figma here, which I also haven't unboxed. Then we have the main character from In This Corner of the World, which I cannot remember, and What's-His-Face from <laughs> Gurren Lagann. This is a terrible video. Please dislike it. Then we have some more blind box Rilakkuma figures. Why is these? Why are these in the middle? I don't think I put them here. I think Tian put them here. Anyway, we've got some little mini Lego things from We Bear Bears, and it's like a Totoro shop or something. Then what else do we have on this shelf? Oh, these are these are miniatures from uh, from Coles, the local supermarket. Yeah, they were doing something. You spend enough money, they'll give you some of these things. Oh, let's move down. And the rest is just kind of garbage. Empty display thing. More of those miniatures down here. And a pop vinyl of Hunch from Attack on Titan. I'm not really a big pop vinyl person in general, anyway. So pretty much on the lower shelves, I've got a lot of box things. Why don't we take a look at all the stuff that I haven't opened yet? Okay, so first up here, this is not a boxed thing, but this is the cat from Captain Marvel. I don't know why I got this. I think I had a, a coupon for some like hobby store. I just bought it. Hey, meh, meh, meh. Anyway, let's move on. We've got a Professor Layton Nendoroid. Wow. So here are all the Persona 5 figures I have. We've got Ryuji, Figma. That would go well with the other guys right here. I might put him up there later. We've got Makoto, 
Nendoroid right here. Man. I think my guy is ending, gonna end up romancing her the way I've been playing it. I still haven't finished it, by the way. We've got Fox. I forgot his name. What's his name again? Well, it just says Fox here. I can't remember his game name. Anyway. Oh, wow. I forgot I had this. I've got a Cowboy Bebop Spike Figma thing. It's not a Figma. It's a... What is it? SF... SHF Fig Arts. Right there. That's so cool. Oh, God. I am a horrible man. What else do we have? We've got... Oh, uh, we've got another Makoto Figma. I think I've got all the characters as Figmas and Nendoroid. Oh, Yusuke Kitagawa. Yes, that's right. This is the Phantom Thief version. I don't know if there's a non-Phantom Thief version of any of these, but here's his Nendoroid. And then we've got Futaba Figma right here. Wow. Anyway, what else is on the shelf? We've got, this is the box for the Gwenpool figure from earlier. We've got Ash. We've got Shank. We've got Yes as Pop Vinyls. I, I know I said I wasn't a pop vinyl person before, but yeah, whatever. And we've got a couple of vinyl coming to America characters. Prince Akeem and Randy Watson. Anyway, let's move on. So on the opposite side of the shelf, mm, it's not so much non-unboxed stuff as it is just the boxes of stuff I've already opened. So you can see we've got the Toy Story box. We've got Loki's box. Um... Oh, behind it there's some pop vinyls. Well, I've got another robot from Laputa, Castle in the Sky here. I, why haven't I opened this yet? It, I remember seeing the photos of what it can do. It looks so cool. You can make it fly, you can make it do all the things that it does uh, from the uh, movie. So Lumpy Space Princess just fell and there's also Alex from Orange is the New Black, which is, I bought because it looks like my wife. Anyway, we also have another Gurren Lagann figure here, Yoko. I opened it, uh, I meant to put her up, but I just put her up back in the box. It's a pretty cool figure, it comes with a like massive sniper rifle and everything. Pop vinyls, yes, I've covered them up because I don't really care that much for them. So I've got Dead Yamcha. <laughs> we've got Mintberry Crunch from South Park. We've got Miguel from Coco. And we've got Daggett and Norbert from The Angry Beavers. Anyway, we've got some stuff from Loot Trade up there. It's Ash and Seven from Stranger Things. And this Mad Max Rick thing was given to me by some co-workers. How nice of them. So these two things at the bottom of my shelf, these are my wife's miniatures. She loves miniatures and she's really good at setting them up so they look nice. She doesn't just like bleh, just slap them all in well, on a shelf with no organization like I do, or at least minimal organization. Um, yeah, we're gonna be putting these out front and center when we put the bookcases in the living room. So that about does it for the bookcase, but I still have so much other crap in this room. I think we should go take a look through it all. Uh, so here is a Sephiroth Bring Arts. I have a cloud one. It's, it's called Another Form Variant, as you can see there. I'm pretty sure it, it's the one from Kingdom Hearts because the one that I have of cloud, which came in pretty much an identical box, uh, it's also called Another Form Variant. Uh, it's the version from Kingdom Hearts, which has the wing. Let's take a look at what's in this bag, shall we? Okay, so we have a King Mickey Nendoroid. So this is definitely from Kingdom Hearts. You see, he's got a Kingdom Key there. Uh, what else? We've got Doctor Strange Infinity Saga, well, Infinity Edition. Then we have Lucio from Overwatch. I have pretty much all of the Overwatch. Nendoroids, except I don't think I have Doomfist or Ash. We've got Yotsuba. I don't know why, why did I get this? I didn't really need it, but I love the character, I love the manga. Um, I also have a darn board, another darn board, because I just have so many darn boards. I have another one at work, possibly two? What else is in this bag? McCree! Ooh, we've got McCree, McCree Nendoroid. And we've got a promotional Fallout 76 record. Take me home, country road. Uh, this came free with like a magazine for JB Hi-Fi. When am I ever going to play this? Never, that's when. If you want this thing, why don't you write me a comment in the description? Anyway, let's move on. So there's my PSVR stuff, which I barely touch these days. Last thing I played was Trova Saves the Universe. Uh, Tiobjorn Nendoroid right here. Ariana Highwind. I haven't opened it yet. 
It's a cool character. Uh, the figure actually looks pretty intricate and pretty nice. I should open this. I really do want to open it, but I need to figure out where I'm going to put her. Uh, maybe I'll just leave her in the box. Uh, okay. So what do we have here? We've got Soldier 76 Nendoroid. We've got Diva Figma. I really want to open this because Diva is my favorite character. We've got Christy Montiero Bishojo statue. This is ripe, ripe for uh, unboxing because I love Bishojo characters and unboxing them on video. What else do we have? We've got. Oh, this is the box for Catwoman right here. Check that video out on my channel. We've got Reaper, another Overwatch character. Oh, Widowmaker. Have I actually, I don't actually have a Widowmaker Nendoroid, do I? God damn it, because I do like Widowmaker. Do love me some Widowmaker. We've also got a Fingerling in there, a box for Rapunzel and Mulan, Operation. I'm not going to take them out. Then here we have Legacy of Revoltech, Buzz Lightyear, and Jesse. Man, uh, these are. I got them to go with the pervy Woody in the corner over there. Also, Legacy of Revoltech. Well, what else have we got? We've got Spider Man Infinity Edition. That's so cool. Oh, it's got his arms and everything. Why haven't I opened this yet? We've got Goblin Slayer. This was a pretty good anime if you can get past the first episode. The first episode is pretty exploitative, but the whole idea of the, the whole Goblin Slayer thing is pretty cool. I wish the first episode wasn't the way it was. People really hate that episode of television. We also have Ichigo Kurosaki. I still play Bleach Brave Souls on my phone every single day. I used to love Bleach so much. What happened to it? Bring back the Bleach anime. Hashtag before what I just said. Bring it back. Yeah. So I guess that about wraps it up. That's all the stuff in the baby's room, which is currently the toy room, I guess. The toy storage room where I film the unboxings and everything. Um, wow, the thought of being a dad and I don't know what's going to happen with all these toys. Do I let the kid play with them? Do I pack up the sexual and seductive ones? Well, what do I do? Leave a comment and tell me how to be a dad. Or whatever. Anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little insight into my collection, whatever. I never know how to end these videos. Please like and subscribe. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you.